Aftershocks are still rattling the area around Tonopah tonight. One today actually registering 5.3. Yeah, so after those aftershocks rumble, the governor signing now an emergency, emergency declaration for this area. And this is video from last week's 6.5 earthquake. Caused a lot of damage to the roads in the area. Was the strongest earthquake in that region in 66 years. Now, damage estimates have priced at more than $700,000, and there have been hundreds of aftershocks in the week since, but experts say oh, that's all pretty normal. After an event as large as they had last week, the 6.5, you can expect to have at least magnitude 5s and 4s for maybe a week or so afterwards, and then they should trail off. I mean, there's always that slim possibility there might be something bigger on the horizon, but every day that goes by, that possibility decreases. So these fours and fives are actually what you would expect after that big an event. The emergency declaration will open access to funding from the Federal Highway Administration. So to illustrate the large number of aftershocks, uh, take a look at this. This is from the U.S. Geological Survey. Uh, they uh, plot out every time the Earth shakes. Now, no injuries were reported from today's aftershock.